Hello Internet, I'm uh, here and I'm playing alone because nobody loves me, but uh, so this is a rather special-ish episode because I'm actually recording this for the uh, Legacy Collector series, so if you don't want any spoilers you should probably stop now. Now, if you don't care about spoilers, you should not stop now. So, yeah, I am I got these two Korean PC Mega Man games, which uh, immediately caught my attention, because as far as I know, Mega Man, sorry, Capcom has not released any specific uh, Mega Man games in Korea. And also looking at the back of the dual case, uh, they definitely looked like, like they were just emulators. So this is one of the two discs. And um, I have the disc inserted into the CD-ROM drive, obviously, as you can clearly see here. Or probably not. Well, right here. So there is an auto run. I already tested this. I know that it runs. So that's a good start. Now, uh, as you can see, this is just Mega Man, the power battle and the power fighters. And somebody made this in Photoshop without paying too much attention to what they were doing. As you can see here in the borders, even I can do better stuff than this in Photoshop, you know. Um, anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You click on this thing. I'm guessing it says power battle and you play Mega Man, the power battle. Would you look at that? Fancy or not. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. There you go. So this is on an emulator. This is the exact same game. I tried every single key on the keyboard, by the way, and it not Capcom. And nothing worked for me. <laughs> well, I didn't try every single key, but oh oh, there you go. I got money. Oh okay, so that's money. How do I how do I press a start? Uh do I have any I also have my controller connected, but apparently controller is not configured on this thing. So, okay, so I put the money in. How do I start the game? I'm pressing every single key on the keyboard. <laughs> and uh, yeah, nothing seems to be working. Uh, it's probably the numpad or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is the exact same game. I'm actually just going to press escape to quit. Yeah, that takes me back here, and I'm just gonna let the the demo gameplay, well, game play itself, and uh, you'll see. If you're familiar with this game, you should know that yeah, this is just emulated, and in fact, I can prove to you that it's emulated. But just give me a second. So yeah, this is Capcom. Capcom again. I cannot play the game because it's not. I don't know what the controllers are. They didn't give me any... It doesn't come with instructions, and if it does, they are probably in Korean anyway, so I won't be able to read any of that. But uh, Yeah, this is a very good game, by the way. If you haven't played it, you probably should. Hadouken! Rockman! What? Uh, well, he's supposed to say Rockman Power Battle. And more interesting is Mega Man The Power Fighters, because if you click that, it just dies. So I think that actually means quit <laughs> um, in Korean. Again, my Korean is not precisely the most polished thing. But yeah, I think this means place and this means quit. Because every time I click on that, it just quits immediately. However, there is Rockman 2 over here. So let's click on that and see what happens. And my computer completely crashes. Uh, can you still see what's going on? Yes, you can. Uh, opening movie, I I don't know what this is. I have no idea what I'm watching right now. What? Also, let me know if the audio levels are too loud, by the way. Uh, and this sounds horrible. <laughs> uh, CS, is that for Capcom system? Yeah, I... Is this something somebody made in Flash? I don't know. Let's skip this thing. <laughs> All right, let's... Ooh, character. 
Do you want to continue running a script? No, 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 no. That's JavaScript, by the way. Okay, so... Yeah, not only my Korean is terrible, this thing is not rendering Korean at all, so... Uh, I think this is gonna be a Flash game, so let's start the game. Rockman 2 The Power Fighters. Is it really gonna emulate this on a Flash thing? Oh! No, it's not. <laughs> Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah, I was concerned because I actually already looked at the files and uh, yeah, I didn't expect it to actually... Q sound was really good, by the way. Oh, this one I can play. Can I use the controller? Uh, nope, but at least I can use the crappy keyboard that I have here. Uh, or not. Um, well, it will help if I knew which button to use. It's up. Oh, and now I'm playing two players somehow. Uh, <laughs> can I just? I'm just gonna let the timer run. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, oh, I found that. But uh, yeah, this is definitely, definitely the arcade version. And let's see. I got attacked there, and I can move Mega Man here. Yeah, so everything is on the same keyboard. It's gonna take me a while to figure out uh, what is where. So I can move Mega Man with this, and I can he shoot, I can jump with that, and I can shoot with this. Oh yeah. By the way, this is a crappy um, Bluetooth keyboard, so don't expect me to uh, outperform this thing. I can barely press two things at the same time, so. Uh, Shoryuken! Oh, come on, Shoryuken! Do a Shoryuken! We are not living without a Shoryuken. Yeah, thank you, Beat. Uh, Shoryuken! There you go! Alright, so I'm just gonna press escape to quit this thing. But yeah, uh, I don't know who felt that there was a need for all of this stuff. <laughs> Looks kind of elaborate, but yeah, in case you had any doubts, uh, I found this hidden folder that says fva.ini and as you will see this is final burn alpha uh, which is a known emulator for capcom system 1 and capcom system 2 and i believe also neo geo and other arcade systems of the time that were very popular in the 90s and 2000s um so yeah that's what this is i don't know what else to tell you um there is some art here let's see what this is so there's that. Oh yeah, so this is the the disc that I have, and uh, I don't have that one. And um, wait, is it? I don't know which one is it. And this is the movie that we were watching before. And again, I don't understand who thought that there was a need for this. <laughs> and if you're wondering why am I using Photos Viewer and why do I have Microsoft Edge here, that's because that I don't have anything installed in this computer other than uh, um, games. So this is a gaming computer, not a browsing nonsense computer. Uh, where else do we have here? Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, this state folder, I don't know what that is, and I'm not going to find ah, Let's find out. Nah, let's not find out. So let's test the other game and see what's in, in that one. Okay, so the first thing the first thing you will notice is that Windows detects this as an audio CD. And the reason for that is because, yeah, if you listen to that, that's Zero's theme song 
from uh, Mega Man X3. So this game is supposed to be Mega Man 1, 2, 3, and 4, plus Mega Man X3 for some reason. Um, what's more, even more interesting is that both of these discs have Capcom's logo and copyright notices all over the place. Usually Pirate Software doesn't bother with any of that. Uh, but these guys went above and beyond to actually make it look like this is a legit thing. And also, you will notice that, <laughs> yeah, the UI is not, I don't know what's going on here. This is supposed to align with this. You know, these buttons are supposed to align. So do this. So the first thing that you have to do, I believe, is click install. And it's going to do something here. I don't know what that is. Um... Hello? I swear, this was working before. Hello? Oh, no, no, the disk is doing stuff. Uh, yes, Windows, I know. I know how to do that. I, I've already done that, Windows. Thank you. So, let's try this again. So, one thing I did before was I selected Mega Man S3. Why is it saying play? I, uninst I uninstalled the thing. <sighs> Bloody blazes in hell. Hang on. Let's say install. I, I don't know. Yes, let's install Mega Man 1. Uh, blah 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 question mark 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 apostrophe mega man one apostrophe question mark parenthesis question mark yes yes i think yes i think that's good and oh yeah so you have to install every game uh so yeah when when you install it it just puts that thing over there for some reason and now you can select mega man one play oh this is yet another emulator oh no this is uh this um codec is no longer in use but it was very popular <laughs> in the 90s uh i think the game is trying to set 256 color mode and it's flipping out really badly yeah that completely crashed <laughs> let's try another one <laughs> um I'll leave Mega Man X3 for last because there is something interesting about it. Uh, let's try Mega Man 4 and see what happens. And install. Yes. Yeah, question mark, question mark. Next. All right. Yeah, again, they went above and beyond to make sure this thing's kind of like worked so let's play this by the way this is marked for windows uh oh player one there's only one player in Mega Man 4 Ooh, what are we going to find again i wish i had a better keyboard right now because yeah this uh codec doesn't exist rockman 4 oh yeah this is is it really how is this what? So this is, if I understood correctly, this is Rockman Complete Works. And, oh, yeah, Rockman Complete Works. Oh goodness, this is so loud. Yeah, I don't see what else to say other than this looks a lot like Rockman Complete Works and if you press escape the game just quits immediately. So let's find out what's... first of all, where was that installed? And... I need to get rid of those files up there, by the way. Um, AMD... Uh, what was the name of that folder? Oh, goodness. Well, I guess one way to fix that is by installing another game. Let's install Mega Man 3. Um, install. Yeah, there's actual effort put behind this. I'm I'm surprised. <laughs> I still can't... 
Uh, I, I still think this is... Yeah, that's fine. Windows, thank you for ruining my game. Like I say, I, I don't think this is legit at all. This is just probably some fan who likes these games and decided to put them all in a package. Um, I can't imagine any of this being legit. <laughs> Uh, Mega Man 3, so Programs Files, oh, Capcom, oh goodness, it was right in my face, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right there, right in my face, so let's try Mega Man 4. Um, let's see, can I open this in Notepad? Open with, no, don't always use that, Windows, Notepad, yes, it's gonna register it anyway, isn't it? Uh, sound, yeah, this is an emulator. <laughs> uh, I don't remember. What was Nestopia, I believe, is the name of the emulator? It's probably configured so that it always runs in full screen. And, uh, yeah, that's Capcom's logo right there. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is the animation. Oh, I have this here. I forgot. So, yeah. Uh... This thing, this video uses a codec that was very popular in the late 90s. Uh, for some reason, it's no longer supported by pretty much anything. Uh, notice that there is so much stuff here, even though this thing is probably the ROM of the game. Only three kilobytes. Yeah, that's the whole game right there. Oh, no, this is the configuration. CD-ROM generator for Windows? I have no idea what this is. Uh, apparently, this is something created by the tool they use to create this thing. Okay, so which one is the game then? This can't be the game. So did they put the game inside an exe file? Really? Because this can't be the game. Uh, NES games are nowhere near this big. Uh, but I'm going to try it anyway. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's going to crash, isn't it? <sighs> oh my goodness, Notepad. It's just six, uh, Well, it's two megabytes. Seriously. All right, let's see. Oh, there you go. It loaded. This program cannot be run. Oh, well, it's a whole executable. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to see this in Notepad, and I don't have better debugging tools on this computer, so we're just going to leave it at that for now. Now, there is something even more interesting than this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm fine, Windows. Thank you. I'm fine with so many questions in life. Um, Mega Man X3. So, set up. Let's install Mega Man X3. I tried this before, and as you, if you've been following the Legacy Collection series, you will know that I've never been able to run this game on any Windows machine that I have. <laughs> so, we're gonna try again and see what happens as soon as this thing decides to work, which apparently is not going to. Yes, Windows. Yep, we have all day. Oh yeah, this is gonna take a while. So, if you remember, in this computer, when I try it, Windows will tell me that this is not a Win3264 something application and that I should get a, a new version from the vendor, but uh, yeah, it's installing now for some reason. Now, I also tried on a, um, on a virtual machine and I could not run it because it will not detect the, um, the CD drive because the CD drive was fake well kind of so yeah this is gonna take a while let's have a coffee or something well i don't drink coffee so i'm gonna gonna, gonna get some water
This is gonna take a while, isn't it? Question mark, 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 period. I'm gonna say question mark, question mark. Yep. Okay, so the game is installed, and as you remember, well, it's not, you probably don't, but as you remember from other episodes of Legacy Collector, if I hit play, this will not work. But it's working! Ooh, not only is it working, it actually works! Works perfectly fine! Not only works perfectly fine... Look at this graph, this looks actually better than the PlayStation 2 version that I have. Uh, was it PlayStation 2? Yeah, uh, Mega Man X Col Anniversary Collection or something like that for PlayStation 2. Um, yeah, look at this. It looks beautiful. And I can actually play it, well, for the most part. It uses the uh, left stick rather than the D-pad, and to me that's a little bit confusing. But yeah, I can go to options, and I can configure the joystick. So, shoot, jump, oh yeah, I already configured this before. Uh, so, exit. And another interesting thing that I notice here is if I say game start and the ambulance, yeah, there's easy mode and hard mode. I believe that hard mode is the same as the uh, SNES version. So let's see what's easy mode. I've never played this game in easy mode. And again, look at the graphics. They look a lot cleaner than what you will get on a PlayStation 2. This is as good as I've ever... Oh, flip, I touched the D-pad, sorry. So, 0x, I'll clear up, blah, blah, blah. You go ahead and deal with the ones inside. Okay, I'll do all the job and you pretend to be working, 0. That's fine. Yeah, I would rather play with the D-pad, but hey, this is what we got. So, that guy died in one shot. Can you die in one shot? Uh, well, they do a lot less damage, I believe. So, and he dies in two shots. And also, listen to the music. Um, this is, I believe, a uh, software MIDI synthesizer. I don't know for sure because I have not been able to look into the files, but I definitely will. And if those are MIDI files, I am definitely playing those through my Roland Integra 7 um, just to see how they sound. How you been, Mac? Hello, Mac, my old friend. Oh, also, I haven't noticed any changes other than taking a lot less damage. Um, so I think that's what this, that's what easy mode is, but we're gonna keep looking. We're not gonna give up there. Well, Mega Man's death. At least it's not zero. Zero dies every flipping time. Every flipping game. Oh, here's zero, by the way. Hello, zero. Dash, 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 jump, dash, dash. Uh, yeah, that didn't do any damage. Yeah, apparently you get like, you take like 50% damage, probably less. And that's about it. The enemies don't seem to be taking any more damage. By the way, this is a trick that I learned when I was a kid. You just... Yeah, go to the left, go to the right, go to the left, go to the right. Now, do I have... Yeah. We'll see. 
So, interesting fact, Mac dies of one saber and one regular shot. Uh, yeah, anytime you want to show up, Mac. Thank you. One like that, and then just do one shot, and he's dead. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah, we have to rescue X. Zero's girlfriend. Hello. Are you okay, X? Yeah, I was frozen for like five seconds, but that's fine. All right, you just keep doing all the job, X, now that I've rescued you. Um, yeah, I wonder if there is any other difference in easy mode other than taking a lot less damage. And also, these graphics look beautiful, in case I haven't mentioned that. This looks so clean. Well... Uh, this is usually very easy, by the way. That has nothing to do with easy mode. Oh, see, I got hit and I took no damage. Now I got hit and I took one pellet of damage. And you're dead. So let's let's try one boss and see if there's any other differences. Oh, sorry, one stage, not one boss. One more stage and see what difference we can get. Oh my goodness! Shut up, ambulances! Hello, zero. Thanks for not helping back there, by the way. Looks like we've swept... We, yeah, we've swept most of the enemies. Thank you, Zero. I'm pretty sure you were having such a hard time doing nothing out of here. Yes. I'll go back and check on headquarters. Call me if you need me. <laughs> see you later, X. Wink, wink. And X was like, wink, wink. Do you see that? X was winking at Zero. It's like, he was like, oh, yes. Oh... And this has a save feature, by the way. So we have data one, two, and three. Let's save. Yes. Save completed. All right. Um, yeah. Um, let's do frozen buffalo, buffalo or whatever. Look at these graphics. This is so clean. I know it looks like crap for... Excuse me. I know it looks like crap for today's standards, but this is as clean as I've ever seen these graphics. Hmm. Yeah, by the way, I'm still uh, astonished. I'm astonished? Is that, is that even a word? I, I'm still impressed that an uh, uh, unofficial pirate copy of the game works, but the official thing doesn't. Uh, that's, that's just no. That should not be a thing. That should never be a thing. I should not be able to play this, but not the one that actually supported Capcom. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm strongly against piracy, and um, like uh, personally, I don't pirate things, uh, especially because I have the means to purchase things. Uh, if you do piracy because you can't afford it, I, I have no objection to that um but yeah because i can't afford things now i'm i'm always opposing uh pirating things on my own for myself uh but i it, it's just so i don't know i don't know how to describe it it's just annoying that the original stuff doesn't work but the pirate stuff works by the way this is a secret thing um once bile shows up there will be a capsule here where you can fight bile uh but that's much later into the game. Um, yeah, I don't see any other difference besides the fact that I take a lot less damage. Um, I think they could have done a little more than that. Like, for example, remove these annoying guys from here. But I guess it's a good way of, of training. Like, if you, if you play this on easy mode, uh, and then uh, you get a better chance at practicing the stages without dying. And after a while, you'll be like, well, I can do this with my eyes closed. <laughs> I believe it's this way. Oh, is it an MP3 file? Really? Why did this song just completely restart there? That should not be a thing, Capcom. Okay, that one I screwed up. Also, the sound effects are different for some reason. They're not the same as the SNES version. I don't know why I changed them. Uh, I believe I need Zero for this one. I don't remember, but I'm gonna bring Zero up. Hey, Zero, do your job. 
Oh, that's way faster than in SNES version. And still takes forever after he says that. Yeah. Fine. No, 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 no. There you go. And now... X is like, alright, Zero, I'll do it. Zero, I'm on my way. Yeah, and the SNES version is like one letter per second or something like that. But still seems to take the same time after they talk. They, they just look at each other. Enter this capsule, X. Take this leg. Upgrade to upgrade well it has your mobility in the air. You'll be able to dash left and right on even style up on the air. Okay, thanks, Doctor. By the way, this game is gonna be featured. Oh, I already said that it's gonna be featured on a future episode of uh, Legacy Collector. So yeah. Oh no 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 no! Wait wait wait! There is another thing over here. No 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 no! We're not getting any of this crap. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna get the the the. Is it a hard piece? I believe it's a hard piece. Ah. Ah. Well, good thing I'm using this uh, easy mode thing because otherwise I will be dead by now. No, no, left, Mega Man, left. There you go. Oh, it's an E tank. What is this stupid heart piece then? I don't remember anymore. Oh, you know what? I actually like the sound effects of this uh, this version. It's not like there's anything wrong with the SNES version. It's just that I I actually like this. I guess I'm, I'm just enjoying the variety right now. <laughs> um, yeah, nothing else seems to be changed, uh, by the way, other than the damage on easy mode. Nope. I was hoping to charge fully before getting in. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. I'm completely screwing this up. I used to be able to do this without taking any damage, by the way. When I was young and healthy and... I had reflexes. Oh, I see what you did there. You killed me. I'll just go back and forth, I remember. Yeah, it's just going back and forth. I'm totally doing this today before... Yeah, stopping the stream. Oh, wait, no, there's still one more thing we need to do after this. Oh, the other way, Mega Man! There you go. Oh, jump! Jump! You, you jump and you shoot, Mega Man. That's your one job. Oh, flipping hack. Flipping hack. Just dash, darn it. Okay, fine. Dashing is not your job, but still. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh. He's gonna do the Shinku Haluken. Shinku Haluken! KO. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. Oh, flip. You're dead. Yeah, seems like damage is the only thing that changes in easy mode. Uh, so, now that we've done this, let's take a look at the files. I wonder if they are the same ones as in the other versions. I'm guessing there's no reason why they would be different, but we're about to find out. Oh, yeah. Frost shield. You've got frost shield. All right, let's save just for the sake of it. Why not? Oh, flip! I pressed the wrong button. Oh, flip! I completely flipped it up. <laughs> what have you? Uh, so the way to quit this is you press F9 if I believe if I recall correctly. Yeah, and then just press the escape. And escape again, no, F9. Yeah. 
So, that's Mega Man X3, but before we go, let's take a look at those files and see what we, what's inside. Uh, Capcom, Mega Man X3. Uh, yeah, BGM, D01234. Gonna guess... Yeah, these are not MIDI files, unfortunately. I was hoping they were MIDI files so that I, can, I could play them on my Roland Integra 7, but apparently they're not, so that sucks. Um, component definitions. I don't know what any of this is, but yeah, this seems to be exactly the same as the uh, um, as the other versions that I have of this game, except that this one actually works, unlike those uh, by type, group by type. Um, so yeah, good job to whoever did this. <laughs> And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you're watching this on YouTube, please give me a like, share, comment, rate, tell your friends, take, go out for a... You know the drill. Give me all the, the, the good stuff and um, I'll see you around.